Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe, staying warm. Uh, today we're going to talk about this guy here, Dick Kane. He was a double agent, and he was murdered by the Chicago Outfit in 1973, right there by Grand and May at Rosie's Snack Shop. If you like my Chicago Mob Trials, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Sit back and enjoy. Now, the murder of Dick Kane, till this day, has never been solved. Uh, Dick Kane, as we know, was living as a double agent. He was working undercover for the FBI and also was a Chicago associate. He worked directly for his good friend, Sam Giancana. And two hours before he was shotgunned to death at Rosie's, Marshall Cothone was actually at the snack shop prior to the murder. Now, back in the day, two of the most corrupt jobs in the city of Chicago was the Cook County Sheriff's Division and also the Chicago Police Department. Dick Kane started out his career as a Cook County Sheriff and then eventually became a corrupt Chicago cop. Fast forward, he decided to become an FBI informant and cooperate against the Chicago outfit, and it ended up costing him his life. Now, here's uh, the late retired FBI uh, agent Bill Romer. This guy went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Chicago outfit. He despised Sam Giancana and especially Tony Spilatro. And in his book and throughout his reports, Dick Kane was his very first uh, and best uh, informant that he got to flip. Now, according to the FBI, Sam Giancana hired Dick Kane to kill Fidel Castro. Kane was familiar with Cuba. He spoke Spanish. He was someone that Sam Giancana trusted. Uh, the plot was never carried out. And he was also the alleged trigger man at the Grassy Knoll, one of the gunmen that killed President Jack Kennedy. Now, the FBI stated that uh, Marshall Cofano, seen here, was running a uh, multi-million dollar burglary ring, and they got pinched. Dick Kane was part of that burglary crew, and according to the FBI, Marshall Cofano found out that Dick Kane was an informant. He went to Tony Arcardo and was given permission to kill Dick Kane. Now, the FBI had this man, heavyweight Chicago associate, Gus Alex. Uh, I went to his trial back in the early 90s. Gussie was in charge of all the Swiss bank accounts that the mob was in control of. He also controlled most of your judges, your aldermen, your policemen, your businessmen. According to the FBI, he got in a heated argument with Dick Kane shortly before Dick Kane was murdered. There's Jimmy Boy Cozo. Him and his family are somewhat of a legend in the Grand Avenue neighborhood. When Joey went away for bribing um, Howard Cannon, Jimmy Boy took over, and he was the boss of the Grand Avenue crew. Uh, he's very uh, strong in the union, owns several uh, buildings and businesses in the Grand Avenue neighborhood, and he was the owner of Rose's Snack Shop when Dick Kane was killed. Now, they did this murder New York style. Broad daylight, couple masked gunmen with shotguns walk in, witnesses everywhere. Two masked gunmen walked into Rosie's snack shop. They announced this was a stick up. They lined everybody up against the wall. And one of the gunmen walked up to Dick Kane, put a shotgun to his head, and blew his brains out. There were several witnesses that testified to this. Now, right here where you see Terry's Toffee, right there on Grand in May, near the old social club, across the street from Diamato's Bakery and Bari Foods, is Terry Toffee. Terry Toffee is no longer there. They relocated to Lincoln Park. But this is the building where Rose's Snack Shop used to be. And this is where Dick Kane was eventually shotgunned to death by two Chicago outfit guys. 
Now, this murder had Harry Alman's MO all over it. There's a heavyweight from Taylor Street uh, from the old Wild Bunch crew. Uh, he was the prime suspect. Uh, the government claims he was one of the masked gunmen that actually had the balls and audacity to shotgun blast Dick Kane in front of witnesses, broad daylight, New York style. Let me know who you think the two shooters were. There's a young photo of the boss of the Grand Avenue, Joey the Clown Lombardo. And the FBI believes that he was one of the two gunmen that walked in the Roses snack shop on Grand Avenue, announced that it was a stick-up. One of the gunmen walked up to Dick Kane with a shotgun and blew his head off. This crime, as of today, is still unsolved. Tell me who you think killed Dick Kane. Now, shortly after Dick Kane was paroled uh, by spending uh, doing a short stint in federal prison, uh, the government alleged that he would make several trips down to Mexico uh, to visit his good friend Sam Giancana. He would bring him cash and also send and receive messages from guys in the outfit on the outside to Sam Giancana laying low in Mexico. Now, going back to the mid-60s, Sam Giancana was the boss of Chicago Outfit. And later on, he was very upset to find out that they killed Dick Kane, a very close friend of his. Uh, Momo um, had an ongoing beef with Bill Romer and several of the FBI agents. And he was drawing a lot of uh, media and unwanted attentions that I'm sure Tony Arcardo and Iupa weren't too happy about. Now, according to this clown in his bedtime stories, Red claims he was there the day Dick Kane got killed at Rose's Snack Shop on Grand Avenue. As we all know, a couple masked gunmen went in, told everybody it was a stick-up, lined everybody up against the wall, and one of the gunmen walked up to Dick Kane and blew his head off. Do you think Red was there? I doubt it. <laughs> 